everybody. My name is Ann Shinnis. I'm with the Outdoor Recreation School of Three Rivers Park District. And I'm here with Mason Moore, one of our outdoor recreation educators. We're here to talk to you today about how to do a backhand throw for disco. We're gonna start for just a minute though talking about some safety things. First one is that during this time of COVID-19, we're gonna practice safe social distancing while we pray, play. So that means we're gonna stay six feet apart from each other at all times. Another thing I want you to think about is when you're throwing a disc golf disc, these are hard plastic and the edges are sharp. So you don't wanna get hit with this. We are in this big field where we're gonna practice our throws. There's no other people around. So be mindful of the people who are in your area when you're throwing. The last thing I want you to think about is when you're playing with somebody who's not in your social network, you're living with them, um, make sure that you're not picking up each other's discs. Again, we don't want to transmit any virus in the act of doing that. So that's all I have to say about safety. Now I'm going to turn it over to Mason who's going to go into the technique. All right. So the first thing that we want to focus on is going to be your grip. There's a couple different grips you can do. The first one is going to be called a stability grip and that's going to have your fingers fanned out underneath the disc. And then on the other side, you have your thumb placed right at the edge of the rim. So once again, the stability grip. The next one's gonna be the power grip. This one's gonna allow you to get a lot more distance, but it's a lot harder to control. So we usually like to start out with the stability grip first. But the power grip is gonna be the same thing pretty much, but you're gonna tuck all your fingers in nice and close, and then your thumb will be in the same spot. The next thing we wanna talk about is your feet. Any athletic stance is gonna have your feet underneath you with a slight little bend in your knees. That's gonna be super important when we are pulling through. For pulling through, we want to pretend that you're starting a lawnmower, but then bring it way up so that you're level with your shoulders. So when you bring it across, you should go shoulder, shoulder, and point to where you want to go. And that could be uh, anywhere from the top of your shoulder to uh, mid-chest. So you can pull it across and make it nice and flat. Another thing that's a little bit different about disc golf than ultimate is the curl. In ultimate, you have a lot of curl with your disc. In disc golf, it's gonna be a lot of snap. So you wanna keep it straight, bend, and snap. So there's not a lot of curling for that. So that's another thing to think about when you're going through this. Um, and then you wanna throw with your hips too. So when I'm coming back, I'm twisting with my hips, and I'm gonna pull across and shoot. So when you put all of this together, I'm gonna to do a power grip. So I'm having my fingers tucked in, my thumbs on the outside, I have my feet, Shoulder length apart with a little bend. I'm going to come straight back and I'm going to pull through and snap. And I'm going to shoot for that tree line over there. Bring it through and snap. So as you can see, that disc went a little to the right and that's okay because we're working on accuracy today and we can just make a couple different changes and see what we want to do differently. And was there anything else? 